It's interesting because I'll just, you know, for me and my sex life, this is an interesting. I'll talk to you about my sex life today. Sure. But it's a good segue because I'm kind of one of those women who easily, I'm called a castrator. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. I'm one of those women who easily gets with men and because I'm very comfortable asserting my own opinions and desires, mm -hmm. I can kind of um, whittle a guy's power down. Mm -hmm. So it's been interesting though because sexually I prefer men who are incredibly domineering. Mm -hmm. I really like that essence of being kind of pulled and pushed around, but it's because I have enough power in and of myself that that doesn't make me feel weak. Uh -huh. It just makes me feel like someone's met me halfway. Yeah. But it's really hard to get guys to do that. Now, is it? Uh... It's like over for again. I'll meet with these guys. We'll have a sexual interaction. You know, if I'm in a relationship, but we'll have our first sexual interaction. And I try to kind of push them into the masculine role. I'm like, come on, mm -hmm. like surround a bit, be a bit aggressive. And uh -huh. they are so damn scared to do that because uh -huh. it's been no, no. Yeah. <laughs> because it's been that masculine energy without any kind of balance in the feminine within. Yes. And yeah. And so they don't know how to bring forth both at the same time to some extent. Yes. You see, what happens in the bedroom is kind of indicative of what's happening in the rest of their day-to-day -day lives as well. Uh-huh. You know, I'm going up for that promotion against a woman. Now I don't want to seem sexist. I don't know how to interact with her so as to not seem like I'm a, you know, nasty person. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's appropriate for me to express my energy physically anymore because that's been bad because we've used that against women. So it's kind of like... The feeling energetically around most men is that their hands are tied. What is the importance of sex beyond just procreation and recreation? Oh my gosh, it's as close as we get in the physical body. Let's see. So, all right, I have to preface this by telling you. Okay. I can tell you, personally, by virtue of what I went through, that it is possible to use sex to enact control and the most heinous things energetically and physically that you can imagine in the human reality yeah but sex is the closest thing we have separate from you know meditation and all these spiritual ways of actually finding unity you find enlightenment through sex that's the entire basis of tantra yeah it's like the unification of one soul and another soul brings you a lot closer to oneness than most people experience on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. it's a natural expression of pure positive focus, pure appreciation of something. Mm -hmm. When you look at something with an attitude of pure positive focus and appreciation, there is a draw to combine yourself with that thing. It's part of why there, there's this sort of torture when you fall in love with somebody of feeling like you want to be inside their skin and you literally can't do it. And this physical restriction that separates us makes us feel our separateness so acutely. Yeah. The sexuality is sort of the, the closest that we get to that, that merging. Yeah. And so it's a very natural expression of source energy flowing through us in the physical reality. Mm -hmm. It's the most uh, acute expression of that desire for oneness. Yes. Yeah. Which is often why it happens between men and women. I mean, obviously, we're living in a reality where it doesn't just happen between men and women, mm -hmm. but it mostly happens between male and female, because if you combine those two energies, you have one, see? What are a few things that you would su suggest to, to men um, to, to look for within how to change their behavior, how to appreciate women more? Uh, I, I definitely think that one of those things should be that men should look at femininity in general, not just the woman you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Like femininity in general, and try to find aspects to appreciate about that unique energy, and especially the strength of women. Mm -hmm. So we're not looking at women in terms of what we're going to fear, we're looking at them in terms of what we genuinely respect. Yeah. Do we respect the fact that they can bring forth life? I mean, that's an incredible process if you've ever been part of that with a woman. My number one suggestion definitely would be that men understand that women do not enjoy weak weakness hmm. you know mm -hmm. well we're not looking for the super sweet guy who's over in the corner and meek and won't ever assert his opinion and won't ever assert himself mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so what we want is is somebody who's able to balance that energy of that forward moving masculine energy which does not have to be aggression that's when that forward moving energy crosses the line mm -hmm. so instead of aggression it's 
assertion relative to somebody who is sensitive enough to perceive whether it's reciprocated or not. So men usually when they go, go into the world or go towards women with that forward moving energy, their energy stops moving forward. That's when we have these fearful men because we have already projected that that's going to be rejected, turned down, and pushed against. And that fear actually prohibits you from expressing masculine energy. Yeah. So what it's about is learning when, being sensitive enough to know when that forward moving energy is going to be received well or received badly. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's one of the one of the most important things, and and uh, is is for men to learn how to sense a woman's energy. Uh, yes. And that importance of of men coming into a, a, a greater perspective in order to you know sense where where a woman is at in in that moment and that's one of the most important things is not to be on some kind of a playlist of you know th these are the these are the things you do to get a woman's attention and and get her to open up to you but to be fully present in the moment and you know the f feminine energy is very um uh dynamic and and changing and you know from from one moment to the next and that's what that's what you know drives men crazy but you know what oh, I would say. Like you coming back, of course. Exactly. That's that's what if men can understand, understand and accept that basic fundamental nature of the feminine energy that it is that is uh, ever changing and transforming, as opposed to the masculine is kind of more of a sort of constant, you know, uh, uh, basic consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be amazing, and could come to a. A place where they were capable of listening to and learning from women when they weren't trying to get something out of her. Yeah. One of my basic frustrations as a woman is that it seems like men are only, you know, only wanting information from and receiving information from and interested in learning from women when they stand to benefit sexually from them. I feel like women, when it comes to women, the number one thing for them is about figuring out what they really want to do and following their desire. Because mm -hmm. that's what's been, that is really what it is. What the women's rights movement came about entirely because our lack of freedom in terms of going in the direction of what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So we've been denied of our basic desires. For femininity to come, and if we're just talking about just one thing to do, for women to come into alignment with divine feminine, with the next step for our gender, it's about following those desires. Mm -hmm. Look, this is what has happened. The reason this has all gone out of whack, you know, for so damn long is because you've been prevented from doing what makes you happy and free. And so we, we do all kinds of things as women that don't actually fulfill us, you know. Mm -hmm. Either we're going and working because we feel like we have to do that now, and that doesn't fulfill us, or else we're staying at home and that doesn't fulfill us. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a, we're very out of touch. I think women in general, much more than men, are out of touch with what we really want. A, uh, a friend on Facebook made a, made a very interesting observation, which is um, that you know, men tend to lead on the, the physical realm, but that the women lead energetically. And that, and that if, if men can come to that, to that place of, of, you know, accepting their masculine impulse to, you know, make things happen and be forward moving, etc., in conjunction with, you know, being sensitive to the feminine energy and that, that feminine desire and what, and what she wants, then that's a place where you can find, you know, the give and take that, that makes, makes everybody happy. Oh yeah, and that guy is irresistible to women. Yeah. Let me tell you.